Hi, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to create a bonus guide for your online course. Hi, so let's go over how to create a bonus guide for your online course. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna brainstorm on a bunch of ideas of what are some of the things that your students might need for this course. It could be templates or guides or checklists, documents, swipe files, uh, sample 3D objects. I mean, whatever it is that you do, you're gonna think about some of the different options you have. And then you're gonna pick one. Okay, let's start off and we're gonna make a guide on that one thing. Then you're gonna take that one topic and you're gonna break it up into sections. So maybe there's like five sections or 10 ideas that you have for that particular uh, guide. And don't forget to leverage content from your course. So it's either going to leverage the words and the exact things you're learning, or you're gonna supplement the course with this guide. It's gonna take what you learn and let you apply it, practice, and you know take that to the next level. And so then you'll wanna actually create content. So you, you know, at this point you have, you know, I don't know, 10 buckets of words or 10 buckets of things that you're gonna uh, include in this document. And so go ahead and make the guide, right? Start typing, start creating, make the, the 10 items that you're gonna use. And that'll be kind of like the raw. So at this point we have a topic, we have you know 10 subtopics, and we have some, some text or some pictures or something. And that's when we're gonna really add the proper photos and graphics. So it could be a chart, it could be something you made in Canva, or maybe a photo of you playing an instrument. And, and you could even go and get royalty-free uh, photos from like Unsplash or go make something from Canva or like I said, or you could even use something expensive like licensed high quality images from Getty Images or another place, but those are just examples. And now that you kind of have your, your guide sort of there, you have your, your sections, you have some, some content for each of the sections, now you're gonna go and really edit. You might re reorder it. And one tip here is to just read aloud. So just sort of take a page, it could be out of order, but take a page, read the title, see what's in there, read the boxes or whatever it is that you have and read it aloud. And you'll find all sorts of flow and style uh, things to, to fix there. And then you're gonna wanna put it into some final format. It, you know, you may have written all these notes in like Google Docs or something, but now you wanna get it ready to become a, a pretty PDF. So you may wanna move it to like Google Sheets or PageMaker or some other tool where you're gonna actually take and by the way, if it's in Word or Google Docs and that's how you're gonna print it out, that's fine too. But some people then move it to move their content to kind of a more polished layout. And you may wanna also add a title or an ending or even some other things at the end, like here's some other tips, here's some other resources, maybe a trademark notice, maybe include your social profiles, all the URLs for your course. And now that you kind of have the draft version of the guide, you should go get feedback. So it could be with prior students, it could be with friends, your team, et cetera, but you'll wanna get feedback so that you can hear from people maybe what's missing, or maybe you're doing a beta launch of your course and you can include the guide there. And another thing is you may wanna even print it out to just lay it out and really look at your guide and that'll give you a new perspective in your own you know, next level of feedback. Now that you have the guide, you'll wanna update your course value. Maybe your course is worth $150, but now with this guide, it could be worth more. You may or may not charge more, but the point is to acknowledge that these guides, these bonuses, they're valuable to your students. So you may wanna call those out. And that includes calling it out on your sales page. And then finally, once you have the guide, you called it out, you have to include the bonus in your actual course LMS. So that might be uploading the resource as the PDF. Don't forget to give it a good file name. Or you may have to create a separate lesson. And the lesson is, here's the guide on how to do X, Y, Z. So with these bonuses, these guides will, will help you sell more and potentially even earn more as a creative teacher. All right. Thank you. I hope this helped you out.